How can you use a covered call option strategy to generate awesome returns on dividend paying stocks? How do you know when a stock is about to reverse trend direction and break out to the upside? And how do you know when it's the right time to roll a short option position to the next month? By the time this video is finished, you will know the answers to all those questions so you can use it to make money trading options starting today. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click the subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more knowledgeable and profitable. Today I'm going to share with you several techniques I use as an experienced option trader to generate massive cash flow when I sell options. We're going to talk through three trades I have done over the past couple weeks to point out techniques that you can use as an option trader to consistently put yourself on the profitable side of your trades and put awesome cash into your pocket. I'm excited to share this information with you that I know will help you out. What are your favorite stocks to trade in right now? Is it Tesla, Boeing, Facebook, or are you a dividend stock trader? In the comments below, let me know what your favorite stocks are to trade. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will tell you where you can find information about exactly how much cash we generate monthly, mainly by selling options and also by collecting some dividends. Let's get started. The first trade I want to share with you is a covered call position that I've been trading for quite a while in Lazard, ticker symbol LAZ. The reason I want to share this trade with you is because this is a stock that has really moved against us. As you can see here on the chart, Lazard has been declining since 2018. A couple of years ago, it was at the $60 per share price, and it recently reached a new two-year low at around $20 per share. This is a stock that I've been selling puts in for about a year and a half. Most of the shares were then assigned to me at around the $40 strike price. So overall, this is a position that is really down. I could share with you only positions that are going my way, but I feel that as a trader, we learn best from positions that move against us and against other traders. That's why I decided to share this trade with you. I want to show you how even though the price stock is down, we can still generate awesome returns and cash flow on the stock. Let me show you what I mean. The snapshot you're looking at is all the trades I've made on Lazar since I started trading it back in 2018. All the stock was put into our account at $40 per share, but we've been collecting cash the entire time. As such, our cost basis in the stock is only $32.63. Every time we roll this call option and receive dividends, we are reducing that cost basis even further. By the way, the stock is currently paying a dividend in the amount of $1.88 per share per year. That dividend alone gives us a 5.8% cash on cash and a return. But we obviously want to do better than 5.8%. Last month, we rolled our short call strike positions up in anticipation that Lazard may begin to increase in price. This month, we decided to hold on to our short call strike prices at $31 and $32 because it looks as if Lazard, if it does get to the $32 strike price, it's probably going to consolidate there for a while because it'll be hitting two major trend lines on the daily and the weekly chart at the same time. That would give us an opportunity to roll the strike prices up higher if we believe that the stock would continue to go up. We still have an order sitting out there to roll the July $32 short call options out to August, which we'll get that done before expiration this Friday. But we're hoping to see a little bit of stock appreciation to increase the price to trigger our desired return for the order we have sitting out there. But we already rolled the $31 strike short calls from July to August. Here you see the trade. We bought to close the July $31 calls for 10 cents and we're able to sell the August 31 calls for 65 cents per share. So the net cash in our pocket was 55 cents per share. If you ignore that our current cost basis is less than $33 and calculate this return based on our initial price that we bought the stock at when it was put into our account at $40 per share, this 55 cents per share would give us a 13.2% annualized cash on cash return. But since our call basis is $32.63 per share, this 55 cents actually equals a 16.2% annualized cash on cash return. And remember, that doesn't even account for the dividend. If you add the 16.2% to the 5.8% dividend, our return on the stock that we own is 22% cash on cash. That's the power of selling options on a dividend paying stock. A boring company like Lazarus paying us 22% a year 
No matter whether the stock is up, down, we're getting cash in our pocket every month. Our strategy on this trade is to continue rolling these call options as the price of the stock moves around. We will try to keep our short calls out of the money on this stock. This is one of the positions I want to own for a long time, so I want to do my best to avoid the stock getting called away from me. Before we get to the last trade I want to share with you that I'm super excited about, I wanted to talk to you about the most profitable trade that I made this week. It's a trade that yields us over 47% annualized cash on cash return. And it's on an old stable dividend company. The company is Cisco, ticker symbol SYY. Let me show you how this trade happened. You can see here on the daily chart that Cisco has been meandering around $52.5 for the past month. Overall, the stock is in a declining trend on the daily chart, although it's still just barely in an uptrend on the weekly chart. However, there seems to be some consolidating going on between $50 and $57. There is strong resistance around $60 to $65, so I don't think the stock is going anywhere above that price anytime soon. I think it's a stock that could trade between $50 and $60 for quite a while, and maybe even have a slight more downward movement. But this is a company that I still like, and it's paying a dividend of 3.4%, and the yield on that put is really good. Last week, knowing that option expiration was this next Friday, I ran some numbers to see what kind of return I would hope to get to roll this position to August. I felt that if I could get a 40 plus percent cash on cash return, I would be very happy with that. So I put the order out there and it just sat there for about a week and a half. Today, the order was finally filled. That is why I like to have orders sitting out there. The week of expiration can be a little bit tricky because Sometimes, especially if a stock is trading around your short strike price, positions can move around really fast for or against you. So when I see a position that gives me a nice yield, I go ahead and take it. Here's the actual trade. The order I had sitting out there was for a $2.47 per share credit. You never know how these trades are going to go down when you put the orders out there. It could be that the short put that expires in a couple of days gets almost to zero. Or maybe the volatility picks up in both positions and they both go up in value. But with this order sitting out there, it finally got filled today. So we bought the July $50 put back for 50 cents and sold the August $50 put for $2.97, giving us $2.47 per share in our pocket. When you run the numbers for the 38 days maximum that we will hold this position, the annualized cash on cash return is just over 47%. I will take that trade every day. That's an awesome return on a company that's going through a hard time right now with schools, hotels, government buildings, using lesser amounts of Cisco's food distribution services. But I don't see this company going away anytime soon. Actually, in this difficult time, it might be an opportunity for Cisco to grow by acquiring some of the 10,000 plus smaller food distributors across the U.S. that are struggling as well. Cisco is more than twice the size of its next largest competitor, U.S. Foods. It's also well diversified in that none of its clients represent more than 10% of its sales. Cisco will likely become one of the bigger winners, assuming some of its smaller competitors go out of business. So although they're having a bit of a difficult time now, I believe the challenges that the overall sector is facing could actually be good for Cisco's business although its stock does have the potential to decline some from where it's at now. Overall, I feel like it's a good, stable, consumer defensive stock that provides something that we need, food, and is paying us 47 plus percent on these put options. We're going to get to the final and most exciting option trade and position that I've made over the past few weeks, but if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. And stay tuned in until the end of this video because I'm going to tell you where you can find information on exactly how much cash we generate monthly, mainly by selling options, but also by collecting some dividends on the stocks that have been put into our account. The last trade is one that I'm very excited about and I'm going to show you one of the most exciting charts a trader could ever see in my opinion. It's also going to show you how technical analysis is one of my favorite secret techniques that I use to be on the right side of option trades. Again, it's another somewhat boring company. You probably have some of their products in your house right now. The company is Kraft Heinz. Take a look at this chart. This is the weekly chart for Kraft Heinz. This looks like a really bad looking stock to trade, but let's add in some support and resistance lines as well as channel support and resistance lines to see what it looks like then. Now, after drawing our channel support lines, this chart looks quite different. Notice that Kraft Times was in a very strong downtrend on the weekly chart until the down era at the beginning of November last year. 
Since then, the stock is basically trading sideways. It did crash down to new lows in the March downturn, but it's right back to where it was in November of last year. Now notice what happens when we add in the 50 moving average on this weekly chart. Now this chart is beginning to look exciting. The stock came to the 50 moving average line, hung out for about a month, and finally broke through. Now it's above the 50 moving average and there doesn't appear to be any kind of resistance until it gets to around the 41 or $42 price point. Now this next snapshot is one of the most exciting things you'll see as a stock and option trader. Take a look at how on almost every single time frame, Kraft Heinz is breaking out above the trend lines. That's on the 15 minute, the 60 minute, the daily and weekly charts. The only exception of these eight trend lines is the 200 moving average on the weekly chart. And in my opinion, all that 200 moving average trend line does is give Kraft Heinz a target to shoot for, which in this case is above $50 per share. I do not know what's going to happen with this stock, but I do feel like the odds are that Kraft Heinz is going to continue its upward move and try to reach that $41.62 price target and ultimately go for the 200 moving average line on the weekly chart. As such, last month I rolled my short put options up to the $32.5 strike price, and I have now rolled the July $32.5 strike puts out to August. Because the stock price is so close to that $32.5 strike put that we sold, we're able to pocket $1.29 per share. When you analyze that return, it equates to 38% annualized cash on cash return. And this is on a boring food stock. Not so boring when you get those kind of returns, is it? Using technical analysis is one of the secret weapons I use in option trading. Technical analysis cannot guarantee what direction the stock is going to move in, but it can drastically put the odds in your favor. That's why I talk through these trades on this channel. I want to help you learn all the secret techniques that I use as a successful long-term option trader that put cash in my pocket every month. Using support and resistance, areas of accumulation, channels, increases and decreases in volume, these are all techniques that I use to pinpoint the strike prices that I sell puts and calls at. Check out our videos in the link above and in the description below where I share my monthly cash flows from option trading. In those videos, I share all my trades for the month as well as the profit and loss of each trade. I think you'll see why I love trading options so much. The cash flow can be awesome. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.